Hello, this is Heather Dorsch from HeatherDorschCreations.com, and this video is of me creating a gouache painting of an American green tree frog. Um, this wonderful chunky boy, uh, <laughs> I couldn't, I couldn't resist but to paint him, um, because he is so chubby and wonderful. Uh, <laughs> The American uh, Green Tree Frog is uh, a common, a pretty common frog in the United States. It is the state amphibian of both Georgia and Louisiana, um, but they are found all over the United States. Uh, Maryland, Florida, New Jersey, they're all over the place. So, um... I have actually never seen one in real life. I live in Illinois, um, and we have a lot of toads. I, I grew up in a wetlands area. Tons of toads. I have never seen a tree frog. So I find these guys fascinating and very cute. Um, the frog itself is pretty small, actually. Uh, it says six centimeters so it's not really big um they there are like bright yellow ones they go from a range yellow through lime green i described the one that i painted as pretty lime green uh sometimes they have white or gold patches on their skin um and they have large toe pads which you can see in my painting here um, usually their ab abdomens are pale yellow or white. Males have wrinkled throats uh, because they do that uh, uh, vocal thing to attract mates. Um, and they, the men are slightly smaller than the women in these frogs. Uh, they prefer floating vegetation. Grasses and cattails are often found in ponds, large lakes, marshes, and streams. Even though they're called a tree frog, which I also find fascinating. A lot of people have them as pets, uh, but they do kind of spook easily. So, um, I love uh, animals of all kinds. And uh, one day I will have one as a pet. They're so cute. Um, I do want to say a few things about my painting itself in here. Um, I did a little bit more of a watercolor technique than I usually do. Um, if you've watched any of my videos before, I just kind of slap color on there. I treat it more like acrylic paint than I do, like watercolor. Um, I like that about gouache that you can kind of treat it like either one. Um, the washes of greens I did on purpose because if you really look at one of these frogs there's a lot of colors going on little splotches of colors and freckles they have all kinds of stuff happening so you can see me uh putting some white highlights on here which is uh I didn't isolate the whites like you're supposed to with a watercolor I just put pearl white on top it works the same for my purposes you can see me put all these little dots and spots on his legs and then those white patches I put in really bring forth that wet amphibian look um, and tie the whole thing together. I also did some gold uh, watercolor for the eyes on this painting uh, just because they have really pretty gold eyes and I wanted to bring that out in the painting this the gold that I use is a color shift gold so it, it changes from a gold to kind of a limey green um, unfortunately that color change property doesn't uh, isn't mm -hmm. scannable so it doesn't show up uh, when I put the designs on t-shirts and things like that but one day maybe <laughs> I'll be able to get a special metallic print for that um, keep keep buying my stuff <laughs> I'll get there eventually um but uh it will have like gold the shade of yellow 
eyes in the designs. If you want to check out those designs, visit my website, heatherdorshcreations.com. Um, and if you want to join me for one of these uh, TikTok live painting sessions that this painting was from, uh, please uh, check me out at Chubby Heather on TikTok. I'll put a link in here for you. Um, um, but yeah, just check out my website. I have all kinds of stuff, t-shirts, stickers, laptop cases, everything you can, everything your heart desires. And I love this little chunky boy. He turned out so cute. Thank you so much for watching my video. Let me know if you have any suggestions for future paintings. Thanks.